everyone, it's Rachel, and for my very last Craftmas video of 2017, I will be doing a brand new Paula McClay charm update. As you probably can guess, this charm update will have a lot of Christmas charms, but I will begin with the charms that aren't Christmassy and the ones that I made before December. So the first thing I have is this bottle charm and inside is like a little succulent garden. So this is kind of like a little garden terrarium and there's just um, a few different succulents and plants and I've got some little granite rocks in there and then of course like a sort of sandy base and then I've also got some of the Japanese star sand in there and you can um, take off the cork. So I just popped everything in there and then baked it in the glass and then this is what it turned out looking like. Next up I have these three miniature smoothie bowls and they're all like different flavours. So if you don't know what a smoothie bowl is, basically it's just um, like a smoothie poured into a bowl and then you put different toppings on top. So this one's sort of like a blueberry smoothie and then on top it's got some like shredded coconut, it's got some banana cane slices and then it's got some little blueberries. And then I made the bowls using some dark granite coloured clay. Then I have this green one and on top again it's got some little blueberries but it also has some kiwi fruit and then some dragon fruit as well. And then the last one's a strawberry sort of flavoured one and then it's got strawberries on top, kiwi fruit, some little flowers and then it's just got some sort of like crushed up nuts and bits and pieces. So that's what those three look like. I then have this miniature chocolate drip cake which I did make a tutorial on so I'll leave that link down below. So this is what it looks like. It is much bigger than my normal charms, but compared to obviously a normal uh, chocolate cake, it is a lot smaller. So it's just got like chocolate buttercream all the way around the cake and then it's got like a chocolate ganache drip, which I also glaze to keep it looking more realistic and then all the toppings on top. So it's just got some chocolate shards, some sort of caramel shards, some cookies, a donut, some like little sort of Maltesers I guess, a block of chocolate and then some chocolate wafer sticks. I then also have a video on these charms and these are some little kawaii cat best friend charms. So there's a little white one with a heart and then a little black one with a heart. I then have two donuts to show you. So this first one I made for Halloween and this is just a kawaii pastel pumpkin donut. So as you can see I've sort of created some indents all the way around and then on top it's got a little stalk and a leaf. And then this one is just a very simple one with pastel pink icing and then I added some like little silver flakies there on top for decoration. From one of my other recent tutorials, I have these two cherry blossoms and um, I'll leave that video linked down below for you to check out if you like. Again, for some more Halloween sort of themed charms, I have these two toffee apples or candy apples, whichever you like to call them. And I've just got a little red one and a little green one. And I pretty much just made the apple, stuck a toothpick in the top and then dipped it in some liquid clay to look like the toffee. I then have these kawaii shell charms and these were made using a mold by Sculpey. So yeah, I just popped all the clay into the mold and then um, used different colours. So I've got a pink one and these are all decorated on top with glitter and again the silver flakies. So there's a pink one, I've got a mint coloured one, there's a blue one and then a purple one. And these pastel colours of clay are all by the Fimo effects range, if you were wondering. Next up are these two little succulents, and I was just trying to test out some new holographic powder I got. So I tried one with a black base, putting the powder over a black coloured clay, and then this one is over white coloured clay. So I was just trying to sort of like test how well the colour came up. And you can't tell in this lighting, but I will show you in a sec um, what they look like with the holographic effect. I just have this little koala hanging over a gum tree branch and um, yeah fairly simple just a little koala and he's just hanging and I tried to sort of like shade the branch to make it look a little bit more realistic and then there's just two eucalyptus leaves on top. I then have these four kawaii donuts well three of them are kawaii anyway and these were from a timed challenge that I did um, so I'll leave that video linked down below so this one I made um, at my own pace just at a regular time this one here was made in five minutes 
This one was made in three minutes. And then this last one here I made in one minute. I also have some more timed um, challenge charms. So these ones are kawaii polaroids. And then this one on the far left is the one I made at my own pace. This next one here is the one I made in five minutes, three minutes, and then finally one minute. This next lot of charms I'm about to show you are all from my two recent remake tags. So I'll show you them all, but if you do want to see the older versions and these new ones in more detail, I'll leave my remake tag videos linked down below for you to watch. So I firstly have this little kawaii sheep and it just has some light grey coloured wool. There's this little white puppy with some brown patches, so it's got a patch on its eye, it's got the brown ears, and then it's also got a little brown tail, and also a little pink collar. I just have this simple kawaii koala charm. There's this little blue narwhal with a tiny little um, gold horn. I have this simple ice cream scoop, and then on top it's got some whipped cream and a little strawberry. There's this pastel orange macaron and inside it's just got some white filling and on top it's got some pink drizzle, some cream and then some little fruit slices. I have this cinema roll ice cream stack and this is just a little bunny character by San Rio. So there's a pastel blue one, a white one and then a pastel pink one. I have a little chubby dinosaur and this is like a little melon inspired dinosaur. So if you see there's some darker stripes so it kind of looks like it's got the outside of a watermelon. There's this simple chocolate mint cupcake. This kawaii cupcake with some orange detailing on top. This waffle bowl with some strawberry ice cream, strawberry drizzle, and then little strawberry pieces as well. And then finally for the remake charms, I have this little snow leopard. And the final lot of charms I'm going to be showing you today are all the charms that I made during Craftmas. So you can find videos on all of these things on my channel, but I will also leave them linked down below so you can easily find the one that you want to watch. First up, I have these kawaii stars, and although these aren't actually Christmas related, I did show you during Craftmas how I make my kawaii faces using polymer clay. So there's a few different styles that I use, and yeah, if you are interested in learning how I do that, you will find a link down below. I have this charm, and this is a little present kitty, and I do think this was one of everyone's favorites during Craftmas. So it's pretty much just a... Uh, a very pastel kind of charm and it's a little kitty popping out of a Christmas present and then on top it's got a little super sweet bow on top of its head. I have this simple kawaii Christmas stocking and then up here it's just got some little holly leaves and yeah I textured like the rim so that it was nice and fluffy looking. I have this kawaii uh, Christmas peppermint frappe charm and it's sort of like a loaded frappe charm. So for the actual drink, it's just got some swirls of white clay, green clay, and red clay. And then on top, it's got a whole bunch of different stuff. So it's got like the cream base, and there's some crushed candy canes, some glitter, some holly, and then some larger candy canes in there as well. I have all these peppermint swirl candies, and these were really fun to make, as you can tell, uh, because I made five of them. But yeah, these were really fun and super simple, and I really love how they turned out. I then have this little Rudolph the Reindeer charm and again super simple, he's just like in a little sitting pose and um, yeah I really love how this one turned out as well. In the past I have done a Rudolph cupcake but I thought it was about time that I make sort of like a little chibi version and I did actually leave a question on my community tab and someone suggested this so I thought yeah I would try and make one. I have this kawaii Christmas pudding cupcake and I did really like how this turned out except that because I use UV resin um, to glaze my charms it actually showed up a lot of the bubbles in the texturing on the dark color so what I should have done is glazed it with polyurethane first which I did mention in my uh, like UV resin glazing video but I guess I was probably a little bit too lazy, so it does sort of have some like uh, like a bubble sort of effect, but anyway, that's how that one turned out. I then have this open bezel charm, and this is a mixture of clay and resin. So on the front is just a little winter penguin, so he's got a scarf and some earmuffs or like... Yeah, like ear warmers, and then he's holding a little candy cane. And then on the inside, I've made it like a snow globe. So there's liquid inside and glitter. And if you move it around, you can see that the glitter also moves. And I thought that was, 
are a really cool idea. So um, if you're interested, you can find a link down below. I then have this super simple snowman charm. So he's just got a little top hat and then a Christmassy red and green scarf. There's this Christmas tree inspired cupcake and it's just got some rainbow lights going all the way around and a cute little star on top. I have this kawaii Christmas bark charm which just has some chopped up pre-baked candy canes that I was trying to use up from my other tutorials and then I also did some little red and green M&Ms as well. I have this little Christmas puppy figurine charm and I actually made this because I originally made the puppy to go in another project which failed but I did manage to sort of like cut away the puppy and save him so I ended up making this instead. So he's just kind of like on a little mound of snow with some snowballs and then there's some pastel candy canes surrounding him as well and then of course he's got just a little pink Santa hat. Again, I've got some more charms from a timed challenge, but this one was Christmas themed, so I decided to make some kawaii presents. So this was my one at my own pace. This next one I made in five minutes. This next one was in three minutes. And then finally this one on the end is the very sad little one minute charm. And then the other time challenge charms I have for the Christmas themed ones were these little Christmas trees. So this one was at my own pace. This one was the five minutes. Oops. This one was the three minutes. And then this one was in one minute. I then have this Christmas scene that I made and this is in a bottle cap and I made it using clay and resin. So up on the side is just like a mound of snow and then I made some little Christmas trees with some um, snow like fallen on top. And then I also made a frozen lake, but I made it using like a color changing UV pigment. So when I actually put this in the sun or under UV light, which I'll show you now, the lake turns blue so it sort of looks like it's melting, if you know what I mean. So here you can see it's blue and then um, if I leave it, it will go back white again. So I thought that was a really cool effect. Again, I have another miniature drip cake, but this one is Christmas inspired and I sort of used like a few images off Google to inspire me. So this one just has a very simple buttercream frosting all the way around and then it's got the chocolate uh, drippy ganache again. And then on top it's just got some really like pastel colored features. So there's a few chocolate shards. The one at the back is actually um, shaped like a Christmas tree. And it's got some cookies and a little star, a raspberry, a donut, and then um, some little meringue kisses. I then have these very glittery bauble charms or ornaments. Whoops. And they all have different little expressions painted on them. And I went for Christmassy colors. So I've got a gold one that's like a winky face. There's a regular pink one, a regular green one. There's this little um, white one. And then finally a silver one. Then in one of my videos I showed you how to make these very simple just um, little holly pieces. So I made a few different kawaii ones with different faces and then I just also have this one as an example to show you how you can just make some plain regular holly. And these are really good too if you make them like extra miniature you can also stick them on other Christmas creations. And then the final thing I have to show you today is this unicorn Christmas ornament, which I love how this one turned out. I think it turned out super cute and pastel. So it's basically just a very glittery um, unicorn head with some painted on eyes and a gold horn with some ears. And then I added a whole bunch of different cabochons on top. So there's like some pearls, some rhinestones, some flowers, um, like a little sort of like metal embellishment. And I love the way this turned out. And then I just also put um, some like a little string bow on it so you can sort of hang it from a Christmas tree. So there you have it. That is all the charms that I have to show you for this charm update. And this is also the very last video of Craftmas. So I hope that you enjoyed the series this year and really enjoyed all the videos. I hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas and a very happy and safe New Year. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.